machine learning is a field the help of which we implement uh, machine learning models with the help of which we predict recommendations as well as uh, we do spam filtering or multi uh, malware threading and every those kind of stuff so most of the cases is doing we are doing predictions over the data which is being provided to us there are multiple machine learning uh, algorithms with the help with the which we uh, predict the data say for example if i have to predict the price of a house in a particular area so i have multiple uh, features with the help of which i will be predicting the value of the price in that particular area so there are multiple things like uh, uh, in which area this house is present what is this area square and these kind of data is uh, present in a machine learning uh, say for example in um, in a sales prediction one when we are doing predictions over uh, a model uh, we are unsure about what will be the predictions that are to be made by the model say for example i want to uh, get the price of the house that i'm going to buy but um when a machine learning model is predicting we are not very sure about whether it will uh, provide us the exact value so we are about 90 to 95 percent at the most a very if the model is very good so 90 percent we will be sure the model will be predicting a very good value but we're not very sure but in professional cases we have to be very sure about the data which we are going to predict when we are building a model there is a fear of unknown that what the model will be predicting so explainable ai with the help of this we can basically understand the data what is the data how the data is going to basically help the model to predict the values that is it is going to predict as well as how it is impacting the uh, model prediction whether it is impacting the model prediction in a negative way or in a positive way so with the help of explainable ai we can do that so there are three things with the explainability increases with enterprise one is we have to develop deeper understanding about the model so we have to communicate it meaningfully and we also have to build a trust with the client to basically say that okay our model is very good and it is going to predict very good uh, predictions it is going to provide us very good predictions and good results with the help of which it can be used on production or on enterprise level so the reason behind uh, getting explainable ai is building the trust with the user so that he or she understand why this uh, prediction is being made and he or she gets the confidence that okay we have we can deploy this uh, model and get a production level uh, output out of it and we can use it everywhere where where we are doing a production thing so it is it helps us in streamlining the models and also governing the model understanding what is happening inside the model how a, a feature would basically affect the model prediction all this kind of stuff so what we can do with explainable ai so we can explain why an individual data point received that prediction we can debug the odd behavior of the model uh, say for example i was looking for a uh, house say in gurgaon and in that particular area for a particular house i was getting 10,000 rupees and uh, for this house I'm getting 5,000 uh, rupees but the average in that area is around 10,000 only so it is kind of an odd behavior but there has to be something in the data which due to which the model is uh, predicting that so with the help of explainable AI I can debug and see the odd behavior the model is being doing then uh, we can refine the model uh, or data collection process. So say for example, um, my uh, data is biased towards some particular feature. And now bias, if, if we have a, a model which is having bias, so this is, that model won't perform properly. It, will, it would uh, do predictions 
in a biased manner and the prediction would be good. So with the help of explainable AI, I can refine the data and make it accurate for the model to understand and do predictions in a proper manner. I can verify the model behavior uh, by uh, putting the different data points, seeing what is the prediction it is made, uh, making and all this. Also, it presents a gist about the model, how the model is performing. I can see the different parameters with the help of we, which we validate the, the model behavior and all. Why data point receives that prediction, the uh, first point that we see. So with the help of explainable AI, we can see, we can put a particular value and see the prediction and why the uh, prediction was made. So with the explainable AI, we can do that. So we can debug, say for example, here we have uh, two chest X-rays. So uh, some places you must have seen doctors mark things over X-rays. So when a classification model is working over an X-ray and uh, classifying whether a particular person is having a cancer in lungs or not. So there can be uh, cases where these kind of cases can happen. There are pen marks. So with the help of this, I can understand that why this odd behavior is being made in the model. And later on, I can retrain the model on for these also. So I can refine the model as I've stated uh, previously also that uh, I can go to the uh, data and check what data is, whether it is biased data or some data is having uh, null values or these kind of stuff. So I can use the UI to see all this stuff and refine my data so that the model can understand proper data and do uh, proper predictions. I can verify the model behavior. So here I've taken an example, the toxic comment classifier as an identifying term. Okay. So I am a identified term should have weight. Okay. So there are stuff with the help of which I can understand and verify the model behavior. Uh, if I put a particular data, it would, the model will react to that particular uh, data input and provide us the output, the predictions. So I can behave with the help of explainable AI that why the model is behaving in this manner. So there has to be a, a collection of features with the help of which the model is getting influenced and behaving in that particular manner. It also provides us a this, so you can see that uh, these are the different layers in the uh, neural network and you can see what are the number of layers by uh, going to explainable UI. So what are the different explainable AI tools that we use? So for a uh, cloud AI platform, we have multiple uh, explainable AI algorithms with the help of which we can use explainable AI. So we can use it with uh, TensorFlow, Exibost, Scikit-Learn, and it is directly implemented on a Google AI platform as well as Vertex AI. So we just need to use the explanation XDK to use the explanations. So here you can see the analysis for individual example of the data set. Say for example, there was a data set having marital status, education uh, number, education hours per week. So this is basically a data set and this is the UI of explainable AI with the help of which we can understand the data, how it is implementing the entire data set, how the data is, is it a negative, uh, always negative data, or is it a positive data as always, whether it's a classification data. So we can understand all this in, uh, with the help of explainable AI. Say for example, we have three features in our model, in our data set. So, with the help of explainable AI, we can understand, say for example, if I combine two features, how this model is getting affected. So if I combine A and B feature, I'm seeing that the uh, model is get, uh, effect, getting affected a lot as compared to B and C. And when I com uh, compare it with A and C, then it is getting affected more as compared to A and B. 
and when i combine all three that is the most so uh, for explainable ai there are multiple methods or algorithms we can use there is in integrated gradients tree sharp sharply and exact sharply so this is the what if tool this is a ui tool and th this provides us a very good uh, ui representation of what is the data how a particular say for example uh, if i say i select a particular uh, data point and want to have a correlation with the other data point so with the help of this i can select those particular data points and see how this is implementing the prediction and how this is uh, affecting the prediction values so this provides us that ui uh, access of the model behavior and uh, how the model is performing how uh, the different parameters that we need to understand the model performance and debugging so here you can see the experiments so i can change the particular uh, feature value and see how it is going to predict and what is the uh, value this would predict out of it uh, i can compare things compare two or three things together so here you can see one data two data points have been selected and on that basis we are able to see what what is the outcome of it uh, we can see the optimization that needs to be done over the model. So here you can see we are seeing the ROC curves of particular uh, data points and how the model is performing. Then we can even compare multiple models. So if we are having multiple models, we have trained multiple models and we have we want to compare their performance. We can select multiple models and compare those. So uh, this is the case study in which we implemented uh, explainable AI and with the help of which we were able to provide good model predictions. So uh, their use case was to uh, get uh, basically classify press releases into multiple themes. Say for example, a product release is being done by BMW. So that is a case of theme that a product release is being done. Some other uh, company is uh, releasing a store. So that is also a product release. So these kind of themes were divided and how we did it with the help of explainer, we were able to understand what were the important words that can be extracted out of the article. So we extracted those important words and with the help of that, we were able to classify the themes of the articles. Yeah. But essentially what we did was we, we created uh, an entity extraction kind of a model on text. So you've got huge corpus of text. We are extracting important entities and then we are trying to understand why these entities were extracted and those helped us, you know, build another classifier on top of those entities to classify what are the themes for these entities. So there's like an indirect use of the explainable AI to understand why certain entities were uh, classified as important and then use that uh, knowledge to build a classifier.